Cuba are projecting a better Rio Games in 2016 than they managed four years ago in London despite two goals. Their standard, of course, is sky high. And hopes of their super heavyweight here, Lenier Perro, 23 year old Cuban. Won the Americas qualifying tournament in Argentina. But interestingly, within the Cuban camp, considered something of a underachiever by their standards so far. And the giant figure of Filip Perkovic of Croatia. Just a year older than Perro at 24, hails from Zagreb and was the gold medalist in Bulgaria at last year's European Championships. He's a mighty looking fellow, isn't he? Look, he steps over the rope. No effort required. I'm not sure you or I could try that. We'd have needed a ladder. One thing he is not, however, is quick. Representing Cuba. One medals at heavyweight. Now a step up for Perro. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Croatia. Perkovic beat Demirezin of Turkey in the last round after a bye in the opening stage of the prelims. Gentlemen, no folding. Keep your heads up, keep your punches up. Check your hands, good luck. Three three-minute rounds scheduled to go that far in the super heavyweights. It's Hogovic of Croatia in the blue against Lenio Perro of Cuba. And it's walk forward slowly against move sideways quickly. So whichever style prevails, that's your winner. He's not the biggest we've seen at super heavyweight either, Perro, is he? No, looks like we've got two fighters at different weights here. And I don't just mean in height, because he is 1 meter 92, I mean his general makeup, his physique. I, I would not be surprised if they tried to get him into the heavyweight class, actually. Well, I mentioned earlier, he'd won medals at heavy, before taking this step up the Cuban. South Pole stands for Perro. It's going to make it tough for Bogovic, as you rightly pointed out. It wasn't the quickest, either in hand speed or footwork. But compared to some we've seen against South Pole stars, even in this session, look how side on he is. He's technically quite clever, and he makes his target very slim. That was a slip. No, he's going no, to count him. He's counting him. Well. Look on the face of Perro suggests that he just lost his balance. But maybe it's a look of shock that he's hit the floor in this opening round. And what a boost to the Croatian that is. That you know his tactics, if he sticks to them, can prevail here and cause the upset. And as you said earlier, considered a bit of an underachiever, Perro in the Cuban camp. There has been a slight question mark against his temperament as well. And now he's under a bit of pressure. And this is the test on the biggest stage of all of that temperament. Okay. There's, the, there's the move up. That right hand was homing in before that good footwork got him under the corner of the Cuban. But uh, Perkovic looks very composed here, doesn't he? Not mind on the task. Watching Yoka earlier, we saw the difficulty of a big man trying to punch down. And technically, Perkovic is not having that problem here against Pedro. 
closing moments of round one. It's solid right there from the Croat. Perros feeling the weight of these shots. The Cuban taking a standing eight count in that first round of this super heavyweight contest. And they've got some words of wisdom to impart here to Lenny A. Perro. Senhoras e senhores, se sua atenção, por favor. Ao final da competição, lembramos que é proibido entrar na área do ringue. Agradecemos a sua compreensão. Two to one for Perro on the three cards of the scoring judges at ringside. The audience, the boxers, not party to what we've seen. Not sure you're in agreement at that scoring. Despite that standing eight count for Perro, he's got a slight lead here. No reason for Hrugovic to be discouraged just yet. Corner, they were trying to get Perro to relax a little bit, and he does look as though he's taken that on board here early in this second round. Moving better, that's better. Needs to get away from that hammer of a right hand of the Croatian. But despite the fact he's only 24, has had a huge amount of experience in the World Series, over 20 fights in that competition over five seasons, won all seven of his last fights, six by way of knockout. And when he came into it, he was almost with every respect a kind of make weight and he has worked his way up the rankings been a brilliant card here in this session and we probably looked at it and thought this one might be the weakest the least fascinating of all the contests we witnessed but it's not working out like that is it no so he's looking for that jackhammer right hand just out of range there, Hrugovic. Good left from Perro. Shoulders have just relaxed a little bit in this second round. The message was definitely getting through to him between the first and second stanzas and there's been a big improvement from the Cuban. Seeing the shots coming now. Brugovic is not easily discouraged though. He's taking another standing eight count here. There's a body shot in there from Hrugovic. And let's mention now what the scoring was at the end of the first round. Now there have been two standing counts. Surely that has to be reflected in the scoring. He was certainly winded by that body shot. Perro will be looking for the bell here. Pekovic trying to follow up. Oh, big right hand from the Croatian. He's in trouble. Big trouble. Watch his legs closely here. All it's over. Stopped. It stopped. Tremendous right hand. Well, we'd highlighted it. And it thudded into the head of Perro, sank onto his backside and still doesn't know what day it is and what time it is. That was tremendous from Filip Hogovic of Croatia. And we're right next door to the Olympic Village here and it's helped create a wonderful atmosphere in nearly every session with teammates from the village coming in to support their men and the Croatians are going crazy here. What a win, what a shot. He walked right into it. Gasped all around the crowd as it's played out on the big screens. 
He spent a lifetime working for that tiny, tiny moment in time. Must be a sweet feeling to deliver it. Bergovic enjoying his moment. Yeah. And why not? There's going to be a party in the Croatian <laughs> village. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by technical knockout. Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor o nocaute técnico do canto azul. In the blue corner. A bronze medal at least for Filip Hergovic of Croatia. He's through to the super heavyweight semi-final. And with that right hand, who can discount the fact that he may not yet go on to take gold? Winner by technical knockout over Cuba's Lenny Perro.